Hello everyone, thank you for attending the BAS Electrochemical Webinar 2023, December. I'm Miho from International Sales Team, and I will be the moderator. Today, it will be the ninth lecture of a series of lectures in the field of coordination chemistry and electrochemistry, introducing basic electrochemical methods and applications with a focus on organic complexes. Introduced by Professor Masaaki Haga from Chu University. Today's theme is coordination chemistry and electrochemistry. Electrochemistry of microelectrode. Hello again, this is Masaaki Haga. The electrochemical technique always requires electrode. Today, I'd like to discuss about the electrode size. Are there any advantage when we can make the smaller electrode? Here's a comparison of two electrodes. Left hand side shows a carbon electrode, which is used for aluminium electro refinement by molten salt electrolysis, in which bauxite is dissolving in cryolite, sodium hexafluoro aluminate. The electrode side is 3 meter high and diameter is 80 centimeters. Carbon electrode act as a cathode. Land, la, light hand side, this is a 10 micrometer platinum electrode sealed in the glass. Today I'll show you what happened with degrading the electrode side and what is the advantage of microelectrode. Here shows the typical cyclic protonogram measured by different electrode size and measured ferrocene at a scan rate of 100 mV per second. At platinum disc electrode with 3 m diameters shows the normal reversible CV response with anodic and cathodic peak is observed as shown in right hand side. When electrode size becomes smaller, in this case 10 micrometer diameters electrode, the voltanogram is changed to a sigmoidal curve, indicating the steady state voltanogram is obtained at microelectrode. These two different CV shapes arise from the difference of mass transfer mode. In the case of large planar disk electrode, substrate transport to a planar electrode surface occurred by linear type diffusion, and the electron electrode reaction of the substrate followed fixed second law. The current value in the potential step method describes in proportional to the square root of time. On the other hand, in the case of microelectrode, mass transport occurred at the electrode edge and spherical diffusion takes place. This effect is incorporated into the second term of this equation and term related to the radius appeared in the current value of the potential step method. Considering this time-dependent mass transfer effect on the size of the electrode, under the potential step experiment, at sufficient short time, the thickness of the diffusion layer is much smaller 
than the electrode radius. Even microelectrodes appear to be a planar and linear diffusion takes place. Therefore, the first term is significantly large. At the longer time domain, the contribution of the first term becomes smaller and the second term becoming important. Therefore, the steady state, steady state limiting current obtained. When the CV of Fierstein in acid nitro was measured at 6.5 micrometer diameter at slower scan rate 1.1 volt per second, steady state sigmoidal curve was observed. But at 10 volt per second, the peak response is observed even in the micro electrode. This change was explained by the change of mass transfer mode depending on the scan rate. Here show the chronometric current time response at two different diameter and different diffusion constant. In general, for chloroamperometry, a larger electrode, the current goes to nearly zero as shown in this 100 micrometer size electrode. On the other hand, the smaller size microelectrode, steady state current flow in a shorter time as shown in this figure. Diffusion constant mainly affected on the short time domain. This difference arises from the mass transfer to the spherical electrode. The diffusion layer thickness, delta, is defined by these equations. For the larger electrode, diffusion layer thickness is smaller than the electrode radius linear diffusion is dominant, so the current decreases rapidly by the expansion of the diffusion layers to the bulk. On the other hand, spherical convergent diffusion occurred actively, which induced the steady state mass transfer from the bulk solution. This slide shows the CV response of analyte with different size of electrode. Note the current is normalized by electrode area and plotted as the current density. When the electrode size decreases, the current density increases dramatically. This is because analyte diffuses to the electrode effectively by spherical diffusion its edge effect at the microelectrode. In the, in the case of microelectrode, the limiting current is independent on the scan rate of potentials. We can compare the material diffusion for the case of normal size disk electrode and microelectrode. The relationship between the thickness of the diffusion layer and the radius of the electrode and the resulting current voltage response can be divided in two cases, one given a peak shape and the other showing steady state response. The response of the disk electrode depends on the sweep rate or scan rate. As the diffused diffusion layer spread it toward bulk solution with the tie when the scan rate is buried. On the other hand, in a microelectrode, steady state response is obtained in a short time and independent on the sweep rate. For the disk electrode, 
the current value is proportional to the square root of the sweep rate and the, to the square root of the diffusion constant. And the current value increases with electrode area. On the other hand, for microdisc electrode, the limiting current value of the microelectrode is proportional to the electrode radius. It is also proportional to the diffusion constant. In the case of microelectrode measurement, the output current is small, so noise suppression, noise suppression is very important. The first charging of the double layer allowed for high-speed scan, but if there is a strong capacitance component in the circuit, charging occur between voltage supply and the cell, which induce the stray capacitance and becoming obstacle to high-speed response measurement. Here the charging current by potential step is described by this equation. The time constant RC is sometimes given by stray capacitance. The stray capacitance arise from the electrode itself, the lead or electrical connections. Sometimes solution leakage between the small imperfection in the seal between the insulator's glass and microelectrode materials cause the RC cell constant, cell time constant to increase, which lead a large obscure issues. So we should be careful to measure using the microelectrode at high speed scan. Next, the change in the voltagram with increasing the scan rate is, is shown in here. In the case of low speed scan rate, the steady state sigmoidal curve is observed with the limiting current response. But when the scan rate becomes increased, a CV is changed to a non steady state peak shape. Since the double layer charge quickly with the microelectrode, the charging current is less likely to the overshadow by Faraday current. Even for CV, with the first scan, so using the microelectrode is recommended for a fast scan rate experiment. At the microelectrode, the limiting current is described by the cyto equations. The current is proportional to the electrode radius. No scan rate term is seen in the equations. However, at first scan rate, B current is described by the equation including the square root of scan rate and electrode area, which is the same as conventional CV case. This curve is the theoretical curve for the current response versus time with different electrode shape, such as this microelectrode and large flat plate electrode. In the case of microelectrode, steady state current flow, even in the longer time range. But at the larger flat electrode, current decreases rapidly at the longer time domain. The advantage of the smaller microelectrode is listed here. The smaller electrode resulting in the smaller current values. 
thus reducing IR drop. This allow measurement of sample with high electrical resistance in the low dielectric constant solvent. Second, the smaller charging current in the electric double layer allowed fast measurement with high speed to noise ratios. Third, the diffusion is isotropic, resulting in the high current density and fast time to steady state. Fourth, first chemical reaction rate can be measured because of cell time constant is so short. These advantages should be used to successfully apply to nano-array electrode and biological monitoring in vivo uh, in analytical chemistry. I'd like to show you some such example. This slide shows the basic type of microelectrode and their array in these figures. The most important factor determining the behavior of an electrode is the mass transport in a solution in the vicinity of the electrode. From left, micro disk electrode, micro ring electrode, micro disk array, and micro band array electrode, etc. Recently, advanced and microfabrication technologies based on photolithography have made it possible to create microelectrodes of various shapes. In particular, microband array or interdigitated array electrodes are useful to measure the electrochemical property of nanoscale materials. Depending on the electrode shapes, the diffusion of analog is changed, which affected the voltangram shapes. First, let's consider the two-band electrode, which act as the generator collector mode. Two-band electrodes are placed across the insulators. For the potential setting, Generator electrical potential is sweeped from 0 volt to 1 volt, and the collector electrode potential is fixed at 0 volt, and the current flowing is monitored at both electrodes. A generator electrode, ferrocene is oxidized, therefore, anodic current flow during this potential scanning. The resulting ferrocenium ion diffuses to the collector electrode, which reduces back to the original ferrocene. Further, this regenerated ferrocene at the collector electrode can diffuse back to the generator electrode and participate in redox cycling. Therefore, the generated side current is amplified compared to the collector side. Considering the mass transport at close located two band electrode in the array, the overlap in individual diffusion layers occurred. Crosstalk in collector's generator mode between two electrodes, which is a basic principle of their functioning. The recycling or feedback between the paired electrode result in amplif amplifying the generator current far above the value. Recently, the interdigitated array electrode, abbreviate IDA, is commonly used because of the, the photolithography development is easily fabricate this electrode. 
when each electrode in the array is operating at the same potentials, the overall response of electro array depends on the two parameters, the density of the electrode distribution and the relative dimension of the electrode with regard to the thickness of the diffusion layer delta. Developing at each active element of the array, the crosstalk between two peered electro array induced a large amplification of current. This is a merit for the analytical applications. One example is shown here. Only one electrode shows this anodic current, but when the IDA electrode is used, the redox cycle takes place and large amplification is observed. Therefore, this IDA electrode is applicable for the electrochemical analytical use. This slide shows the commercially available IDA electrode I pick up from the catalogs of ARS. The dimension of the individual micro fingers and available electrode materials, as in shown here. All the uh, reference counter and IDA electrode is printed on the quartz plate. And typical dimension on the individual microband fingers are several hundred nanometers in height and 10 micrometer in wide, and the size is 5 to 10 millimeters in length. The potential of each finger set of electrode can be controlled individually of other electrode. I'll show you the ultimate electro materials as the carbon nanotubes using carbon nanotubes. Here they use multi wall carbon nanotubes and showing the nanotube act as a nano electrode. Carbon nanotubes at the size of 100 nanometers size attached to the end of the platinum electrode with silver paste and measured hexamine ruthenium coupled. The cyclic partangram at 100 millivolt scan rate is shown here. The measurement has been done on the tubular electrode at several different immersing depths. When the depth will be increased, the current is increased, and the sigmoidal voltagram showing scan rate independent limiting current up to one volt per second, which is characteristic of radial diffusion to the superior ultra microelectrode behaviors. Micro or nano electrode can be applied to single entity electrochemistry, which is the things that is measured one thing at a time. For example, one may desire to investigate new transmitter concentration at the different level, for example, single cell or a single vesicle or a single molecule level. Each level, the we can apply the electrochemical technique by using the electrode, different size. For example, quarter particle counter by using resistive pulse sensing, as shown here. Two fluid reservoirs are connected by narrow sensing channel. 
uh, ion current is generated by applying the potential difference across the sensing channel. If the particle is passing in the channel, displacement of the fluid in the small channel resulting in the transient change in the current amplitude to allow counting on single cell or particle. This is widely used in the hospital or clinical site. Second example is ion channels. A glass pipette is sealed to the membrane of the cell to allow measurement of individual ion channels. An ion current trace for ion channel actively simulated. Single cell electrochemistry, which is the carbon microfiber electrode is placed near a cell. Stimulation of the cell by nearby eject, ejection pipette invoked cellular release by the cell, which is monitored by voltammetry or amperometry at the carbon fibers. And fourth example is a single molecule electrochemistry. A uh, insulated two electrode tip is moved close to the larger substrate electrode to create ultra small electrochemical chambers. The resulting trapping redox molecules in between the tipped electrode and substrate electrode allowed cycling and electrochemical amplification for the detection of single molecules. Another microelectrode application is the scanning electrochemical microscope. Using the piezo positioners, the electrode can be scanned and control the distance between electrode and substrate surface distance. So XYZ can be scanned. As a result, the three-dimensional image of the surface uh, obtained by scanning a small microelectrode tip across the surface and recording an uh, appropriate response. Let's consider the electro-redox reaction of OR couple in, at the microelectrode systems. At the bulk solution, Reduction occurred at the microelectrode and steady state current is obtained as described previously. When the tip is brought close to the insulating substrate or conducting substrate, consider first when the tip is brought close to the insulator substrate. The steady state current flowing through the tip will now be smaller than the bulk because the insulating substrate partially hinders the diffusion of O to the tips. So the closer the tip is to insulator surface, the smaller current will be observed. And the tip substrate separation D approach to zero. This effect is termed negative feedback. The approaching curve, which is plotted by the current versus tip surface distance, is shown above. On the other hand, when the tip is close to the conducting substrate, at which R can be oxidize back to the O. The redox cycling occurred and current increased when approaching to the surface. This is termed positive feedback. Thus, the magnitude of current compared with bulk is governed by the nature of the substrate 
and by the tip substrate surface spacing. One case study of SCCM on the surface diffusion of cobalt complex with powering anchoring group on the graphene surface. Cobalt complex can be diffused by the thermal brownium movement on the graphene surface because non covalent bonding between cobalt and graphene. SCM tip was fixed to observe the cobalt positioning and monitor the feedback current. XY plane image is expanded by time, which can be estimated diffusion coefficient from the distance. This is the feedback mode of SCCM. The another observation is the catalytic reaction of cobalt complex by dioxygen to hydrogen peroxide formation. Catalytic active site, including cobalt complex, was observed by monitoring the correction mode of the hydrogen peroxide uh, current. It has been reported nanogap were created in microfluidic channels and ferrocents flowing between these nanogap and detected at the single molecular level. By flowing the diluted ferrocent solution through the nanogap channels and monitor the current. The peak current is observed at the opposite directions and corresponding to each other's. So this indicates redox cycling occurred at the both electrode. Here is a summary of today my talk. A stationary wave can be obtained at a low scanning speed at the microelectrode. The limiting current is proportional to the number of electrodes and also the electrodes the diameters. Measurements can be performed even with high resistance solutions such as benzene, terene, and hexane, and also no supporting electrolyte added. IR drop due to the solution resistance is negligible. Measurement is possible even with ionic wicket. High speed sweep is possible. 10,000 bar per second has been reported. Possible to measure cyclobotanogram in small volume solution, so which is applicable to SCCM or single entity electrochemistry. Here's a reference and books. Today, I focus on the microelectrode the, and the, uh, appli that applications. If you're interested, please read these books and papers. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Professor Haga. If you have any question regarding to the lecture or other topics, you can contact us. The next webinar we are planning to schedule for February. The detail will be updated in the beginning of the next year in the ALS website. Here, the ALS team would like to thank you for having charged with us this year. And we wish you and your family a health, happiness, peaceful, and joyful holiday and a wonderful new year.
for today. Thank you, and have a nice week.